Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing great and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing snappy and smooth Android 13 custom ROM for our Redmi Note 10. And this one is the Proton Plus custom ROM and it is based on Android 13 as you can see here. The Android version is 13 and the security patch is also all the way latest October 5, 2022. So. This one is the uh, stable version as you can see here the proton ver uh, proton plus version is 13.1 and uh, they also mentioned that uh, this rom is stable so in this video i will be reviewing it out and i will also show you how you can install it on your redmi note 10 so without any further ado let's get started So first of all let me tell you that this rom is pretty much smooth there is no any single lag in the uh, animation or in the ui everything is just played very well as you can see here uh, in the quick setting here we have some shortcuts right here you can edit it out and you can also check the uh, which application is active right now as you can see here it will show you the uh, active application notification right here you can just simply stop it out and uh, after it here we have setting option and then we get the power option right here so other than that we don't have a lot of junky applications in this rom we only get uh, only few and needed applications pre-installed but don't worry you can go into the play store and download any application you want to use other than that there is no any single bug or issue in this rom everything is just working fine bluetooth is working wi-fi mobile data uh, LTE everything is just working fine in this ROM hotspot is also working fine and the smoothness of this ROM is just really OP as you can see here every application is just opened quickly and in the camera here we have simple camera but don't worry you can install any Gcam mode in this ROM so uh, in the home screen here we have pixel launcher with some minimum settings as you can see here and then we have the uh, wallpaper and style option from here you can change the wallpaper and uh, pre-default we get this wallpaper pre-installed and other than that we have the pixel uh, google uh, wallpaper application right here you can uh, apply any of these into your home screen and lock screen so after it we have the widgets and in the widgets we have a lot of widgets to be added on the home screen as you can see here i just customized my home screen uh, by my own i just added a weather widget right here and a google uh, widget right here and some uh, and i added some uh, applications and it just makes my home screen looks a little bit unique so you can also do it and from the left you can access the google feed right from here and uh, now let's go into the settings and by the way we also have the fm radio pre-installed in this room so now let's go into the settings in the settings we don't have a lot of uh, customizations and uh, uh, advanced settings we get pixel type features and options in the settings first of all here we have user icon then we have search bar then we have network and internet connected devices apps notification the battery and the battery performance of this rom is also pretty much good and in the battery we have battery usage battery saver battery manager and you can also enable or disable the battery percentage for the status bar and after it we have storage option sound and vibration in the sound and vibration we don't have any me sound enhancer and uh, here we have the in call vibrations and other default sound options then we have display in the display we have brightness level adaptive brightness lock screen screen timeout you can enable or disable the dark theme right from here and uh, the dark theme looks pretty much cool on this display and you can also change the font size and display size you can also bold the text and you can also make it high contrast text so then we have night light colors you can change the color profile right from here then we have auto rotate screen screen saver and tap to wake on the screen just tap twice and it will wake the screen but it is not working so after it here we have accessibility and uh, security in the security we only get fingerprint and on screen locks working we don't have the face and lock like as you can see here here we have a pixel imprint and uh, which is uh, known as uh, fingerprint so we don't get the face and lock but still it is safe to use and uh, 
then we have privacy location safety and emergency password and accounts digital well-being google system in the system we have languages and input live translate gesture in the gesture we have swipe to screenshot quickly open camera system navigation bar and uh, one handed mode which is working pretty much cool you can operate the whole screen by using only one hand and this feature is one of my favorite feature from the android 13 and uh, then we have quick torch press and hold power button prevent ringing and tap to sleep D just simply double tap uh, on the status bar and it will uh, turn off the screen so after it here we have date and time backup updater rules multiple users and reset option and at the end here we have about phone and in the about phone section you can check your android version which is 13 security patch is also all the way latest october 5 2022 and the proton plus version is 13.1 stable build so this rom is completely stable you can use uh, any banking application on this rom uh, everything will work fine you can do gaming on this rom also and you can do a lot of stuff so if you want to install this rom on your redmi note 10 then just download the rom from the link in the description and restore the down, uh, downloaded rom into your internal storage or sd card and you can also use the uh, external hard drive so after downloading the rom i just uh, stored the rom into my external hard drive so now let's just reboot your device into any installed custom recovery you can use any recovery like twrp recovery orange fox recovery uh, any of this but i am using the orange fox recovery So if you have any queries or any question about this video you can ask in the comment section and you can also uh, join us on the telegram so the uh, link of telegram page uh, group and channel is in the description just go and support us so after going into the recovery just go to wipe click on format data and just simply type yes right here after typing yes just click on the stick button it gonna wipe your uh, data so I am not going to do these steps again because I have already installed the this ROM on my Redmi Note 10. So after wiping, uh, sorry, after formatting your data, go back to install. And now if you are using an external hard drive like me, then just connect it out. Go to mount and check the USB storage. And if you are using SD card or if you are using internal storage, then no need to be do these steps. So just go to home, select the storage. So after selecting the storage, now locate the downloaded ROM. So mine is right here, as you can see here. Proton plus 13.1 stable Mujito. Just click on it and flash it right from here. After flashing it, you have to flash the uh, recovery zip file or image file. Any recovery you are using, I am using the uh, Orange Fox recovery. Uh, that's why I am going to flash the Orange Fox zip file. It will make it permanent on the newly installed custom ROM. So after flashing these files, you can also flash the Magix Manager if you want to root your device. So other than that, no need uh, to do any more steps. Just go to Options, click on Reboot, click on System, and uh, your device will be rebooted and will be booted into the uh, newly installed Proton Plus 13 custom ROM on the Redmi Note 10. So hope you guys like this video. If you really did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Keep supporting. Thanks for watching. Peace. And also subscribe us on the Telegram. Peace.